Icelanders call their country the land of fire and ice. Mountains, geysers, glaciers and hot springs, Iceland has it all. And now the rest of the world is cottoning on. Tourists now exceed the national population by seven to one. I was not prepared for how beautiful they are. I mean, just breathtaking. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I understand when, uh, why they come here, because it's beautiful here. People come to the Golfers Falls to marvel at the natural beauty and of course to get the ultimate selfie shot here in Iceland. But it's hard to find a spot on your own. This is actually a quiet day, but on a busy day in the high season, up to 10,000 people can descend on this site. Alone in the Atlantic between Europe and the US, Iceland has become a dream stopover and it's attracting a new type of traveller, the short-stay selfie tourist. We're getting a lot of tourists that stop here very briefly and they're not, um, the environment isn't their first priority in any way and we're seeing a lot of littering and, uh, but a lot of it of course isn't intentional. The recently elected Prime Minister is also concerned about the sustainability of such rapid growth and the damage to the environment. It's been very fast and we haven't actually managed to keep up when it comes to infrastructure around our natural um, spots of beauty, for example, building up the transport system, etc. So one of the key projects of this government is really building up that infrastructure. Despite the criticisms, tourism has played a big part in helping Iceland's economy get back on its feet after the financial crash in 2008. Nearly 40% of employment is now related to tourism. And it's given the country's young people a reason to return home. I've been a waiter for around uh, 10 years right now. So coming back, it's, uh, it's a good feeling. It's like coming home to your mom. <laughs> so, and it is a great opportunity for my own career because of this, uh, these uh, tourists coming into the country. Just like their Viking ancestors, Icelanders are adaptable. This is one of many new eco-hotels, drawing people away from the hugely popular sites around the capital Reykjavik. But while tourists are focused on photos, Icelanders know they have to find a balance between the explosion in tourism and preserving this magical country for future generations. Lucy Hawkins, BBC News, Iceland.